Another tactic, develop what I call contradiction language. This means recognizing the presence of a contradiction in your life ought to signal for you like a high alert about your language. There are certain things you simply cannot say. When long-suffering Job in the Old Testament had been restored to health and prosperity after his trial, the Lord was adamant about his disapproval of Job's friends who had counseled him. The Lord said, they didn't speak of me what is right, as my servant Job does. The book of James, which has a lot to say throughout it about the power of our daily language, tells us that speculating on the future without considering God's active role on it is futile. Instead, you ought to say, if it's the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. Check out the new series on praiseandharmony.tv called Come to the Table by Dr. John Mark Hicks. The gospel invites all to the table. The gospel doesn't make a division between rich and poor, slave and free, male and female, black and white, Jew and Gentile. The gospel doesn't make those kind of divisions. The gospel unites at the table, and the table is the experience of communion between the rich and the poor, between the Jew and the Gentile, between the male and the female. In this eight-part study, you'll grow from in-depth lessons about communion. This series comes with PDF study guides and materials for small group leaders or families to use to help facilitate a more meaningful time of learning. I like the way Luther put it. When I am afflicted and a Satan is assaulting me, I don't run away from the table. I run to the table. Because this is a table of mercy. See, God is doing something at this table. I know we don't typically think about it that way. We tend to think about, what am I doing? I'm remembering, I'm proclaiming, I'm eating. But we need to think about what God is doing at this table. Come to the table. Available now at praiseandharmony.tv.